Hello, this is Joe from Mr. Stiltskin Hand Spun Yarns, and I'm here to demonstrate a little weaving loom frame that I've made. This is a bias square weaving frame, and it uses a con continuous strand of yarn to create a square. Little woven square, and there it is. It takes you five to ten minutes once you've familiarised yourself with the loom to create a square which you can then use for anything your imagination allows. Uh, you can make blankets, cushions, bags, toys, fabric to make clothing, jackets, whatever you can think of. Uh, it's very simple to use. It uses only 12 metres of yarn. This square was made with hand spun and little finishing required comes off the loom complete like that and there's only two ends to sew in or not if you don't want to sew them in you can crochet around the square and I've done that even with some color changes and I've changed color uh, several times on this square and all of the little ends have just been stitched in with the crochet border. So I'll show you how to weave a basic square. I'll also, also show you in this uh, little tutorial how to join colours and how to finish off weaving the square and take it off the loom. So with that you'll be able to understand how the loom works and start experimenting and playing and creating your own fabric or projects with it. Um, so first off we put it on an angle with uh, the corner facing you. You take your yarn and just make a slip knot. You can choose to use a tail long enough to sew your squares together if you like or not if you're going to crochet and hide the border uh, hide the edges in the border and place the nail from top corner to the bottom corner and just pull the slip knot firmly not too tight because the as you weave you'll increase the tension Tension doesn't really worry, it uh, doesn't matter as you're weaving this because it's all a continuous strand, it will even itself out when you remove the, the square, you'll see later on. So to start off, you go around the bottom nail, first bottom nail on the left of the centre point, up to the top and around the adjacent nail which is the first available nail on the top left around that and then I use a hook you can use any hook that you require but I find it it's easier than using your fingers to weave um, always go under the first strand and hook your yarn take it up to the first nail on the right and hook it over release it from the hook then just use the hook to take that piece of oops I caught that there Take that piece of yarn and bring it down to the first available nail on the right, down the bottom. And there you go, you've woven your, woven your first round and you're well on the way to starting a square. That's the whole process of weaving for the majority of the working through the frame. So we just repeat that process from the steps. So first off, around the bottom nail, take your yarn up to the top around that nail and I've just noticed that I've split the yarn there, I'm just fixing that. Quite easy to do. There we go to fix that. So around the top nail, hook under, over, under. Grab the yarn with the hook and place it over the next available nail. Hook the yarn down to the bottom. And there we go, another round complete. I'll just do another round so you can see 
how the weaving starts to develop. Always under, over, under, over, under. As you see, each time you complete a round, each time you work through a round, you're adding another nail on each corner. So your weaving grows, and it grows from both the top and the bottom in towards the middle. Every round takes a couple of seconds longer to weave. But it's really very quick. Works great with variegated yarn. You end up creating a lovely pattern. I'll just weave one more round or one or two more rounds and then I'll show you how to change colours. Naughty. Make sure that you don't twist the yarn as you're weaving. It has to be straight, otherwise you won't get the next pass through. Because each pass goes through the centre of the last one that you've created. One more round and then we'll change colours. Always remember, we go under the yarn strand on the right. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Pull through, up, and over. There we go. One more round. Why oh, not? So much fun, I can't stop myself. Whoops. Over, under, over, under. Hook it on, grab it. Hook it down the bottom. So there you see how the weaving is working its way from the bottom and the top towards the centre. Now just a demonstration on changing colours. It's so simple. So I'm going to change and I'm going to use this hand spun um, blue yarn. First off, we tie a knot. Now when you're joining yarn, joining another colour, always work along this edge. So it's the bottom left edge when you've completed a round. Otherwise, you'll uh, get tangled up. If you try and join there, you'll, you won't have the double strand. You need to have the double strand, so you need to start a new colour at the start of a round. Or oh, the square just will not work properly. You'll, you'll have an uneven amount of strands woven, woven. So just tied the new yarn to the old yarn and slide it up to, so it's a bit snug to the nail. Cut off your old yarn tie it onto your new yarn with another knot and you're ready to go. And I'll do a round of this new blue. So all the way around, take my hook and you'll find as you get a bit further across it's easier just to do, weave a few strands at a time. Um, it also helps to avoid twisting it I use my finger just to hold it into place while I'm moving the hook and that also helps to avoid twisting. It's tempting to try and weave all the way across. One might think that that would be faster but believe me from experience it is not. It's much more efficient to weave just a few little strands at a time. So there you go. There's the blue woven through. Another round of blue. Just a few strands at a time rather than... Oh, 
hook it down to the last nail and there we go so I might pause this video I'll continue weaving through because it's great to watch the weave it is very quick but I can save you a couple of minutes by pausing the video and coming back to show you how to use the last few how to weave the last few rounds and a little finishing off trick on the corners and removing the weaving so I'll be back in a little while.